Hi guys, welcome to Sew It, Grow It, Eat It. And uh, today I'm just going to be doing a video on an update of what I've been doing lately. So, uh, what I've done over here is the grass was, the ground was rock hard and the grass was uh, all dead. So what I've done, I've lightly forked it over and now I'm going to put grass seed later with a uh, topsoil. <laughs> When I do that, I'll give you a tour of how it looks after. Over here are the three holes that I have yet to plant. I plant in each, and uh, they're beetroot seeds, but they're very small, so you can't see them. Uh, over here, the plant. This is the cranberry plant, and uh, the roots are, is sp are spreading, so there's one plant here and another one there however it won't fruit this year because it's a new plant by fruit it'll fruit next year and the year after that um, if we over here are the runner beans which have red flowers and each red flower will turn into a bean, bean pod uh, here are the chili plants that I've planted and the f uh, this is the fern plant the step and some more runner beans. Up here are the elderflower tree, is the elderflower tree, and this setting berries, which I might make elderberry juice or cordial. Uh, can you please uh, uh, give uh, uh, tell me how to get good yields from, and can you please leave, me, leave it in the comments section below? Can you please tell me how to get good yields on uh, Brussels sprouts? So like get Brussels sprouts going all the way along here. Uh, over here uh, are the tomato plants that were over there. And what I've done is I've uh, planted them in pots, large pots. So uh, now they're getting really big. If we go over to the greenhouse, uh, over here was uh, this, like a desktop kind of thing for sewing and planting everything. But what I've done, I've took that down so the tomato plants, which are getting really uh, big, uh, can... If we go over here, here's our here's some of the tomatoes. Oh god, 